Hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 2 of Frigid Abyss. Yeah, morning of day 3. We got a lot to do today, uh, just as with every day, but I prepared for it the right way. I don't need to tell you by now. You already know what the morning routine is, and I'll bet a lot of you are trying it yourselves to try and maximize your potential. If you are, good for you. It's never too late to start cultivating your best self, despite your worst self. Oh, I've been there, you know? We all start out fucked up, but you just... You don't stop believing in the better part of you, despite the existence of the worst parts of you. That's just how it is. Cultivate what's good. Trim what's bad. You're a bonsai tree, right? Fucking work on yourself. That's all anybody has to do. Alright, let's get started. Now, today our goal is to try and search a lot of trash and find mechanical parts, because the sooner we get three mechanical parts, the sooner we can craft our bicycle. Now, we're actually going to need more than three, which I didn't think about, because we need 20 mechanical parts for the workbench itself, and we need more mechanical parts for the bicycle. So, going to have to hope we find more than just a few. But hey, at least we're not freezing right now, right? Got our skill point, so we're gonna spend it on pack mule so we can bring more home with us today. Here, another bear. Oh, Jesus, I don't envy that lumberjack. Yes! We can now make our wrench and immediately get what we need for a bicycle. So we'll do that when we're wrapped up today. Three fire axe. We'll be able to make good use of that. Alright, got that. Don't need. Now our inventory is looking pretty ragged. We've collected a lot of shit, but we'll just, you know, we'll adjust accordingly. Scrap the buckshot. Drop a couple of other little knickknacks. Alright. Oh my fuck. Eh, uh, you know what? We don't need another bear. We're just gonna head to the job. Alright. If you guys ever want to double dip this POI, uh, the loot room is right through this door up that ladder. And look at how weak the fucking door is. Right? You can just pop your way in there and get a double loot stash with a snap of your fingers. I'm not going to do it. I have that personal rule that you guys may know about where I don't... I only allow myself to loot the outside of a POI uh, on a quest and not the inside. Yeah. I double dip the exterior stuff. So, let's get started. Now what I can do... 
to be industrious about it. Is I can just enter this building from here. And uh, take the whole quest backwards. It might allow me to get the jump on some zombies that I otherwise may not have gotten to jump on. Rage mode, looks like. Yo, what the fuck did Yogi ever do to you? Fucking smacking the bear statue and shit? What's wrong with you? Alright. Well, in we go. Look at this guy, sleeping on the job. Level 3. We're just gonna keep on, you know, extending our inventory. Encumbrance isn't dangerous until it gets you killed. <laughs> you know, it's... You should always account for encumbrance. As much as you can. Golden Rod? Drink one right now. I'll drink the other pretty soon. Nice. Might be able to make a level 2 wrench, which I would greatly prefer. The durability difference is significant between level 1 and 2 wrench. Alright. Uh, you know what? Uh, we could leave the main stash until later. But. Alright, let's just get it. And then if we want to, we can grab the supplies and get out of here. That door is locked, so you can't stop them. secure. Let's see what we got. A little bit of meds. Muzzle break. Put that in the machine gun. We're gonna drop the goldenrod seeds, scrap the crossbow bolts, drop the paper. Very nice. A little extra firepower. Herbal antibiotics. Alright. Now we're just gonna work through this POI backwards, trying to eventually reach the supplies, which are beneath us, not very far away. drink this right now. We'll get overflow hydration. Satchel. Job is done. We can get out of here whenever we want. I don't like the look of this. Don't need the cloth. Encumbrance of eight, huh?
Is a zombie gonna spawn in that closet when I come up the ladder? Yep. Okay. Now, yeah, let's just loot whatever else we can. Hmm. Not gonna wear that. Anything we can uh, get rid of here? Seven gunpowders. You know, we don't need two electrical parts. We don't need one corn seed. Uh, it's tight. I, I want those pumpkins, but they're not worth dying over, so I'll probably drop them. All right. We're good to get out of here. We just have to mind our step on the way home. We don't want to walk into two things. A mountain lion or a bear. Anything else I think I can deal with. Oh, oh my fucking god. Bear right there. Okay. Attention and focus starts now. <laughs> don't need that paper. Yeah, we need that. Even if it slows us down. We've marked that ATM, and we have a drop chest over there. So you know what? We're going to go over there, and we're going to deposit what we can into it. All right. Biker, huh? Did I leave those? Oh, I harvested the ones on the other side, but not those ones. Alright. Decent. Now, uh, minor 69 or 2. Let's harvest these while we're here. I can't believe I forgot these. I love scrap metal. Any chance I get to harvest scrap metal, I get all giddy. There we go. Redemption. Alright. I beat that fucker into the floor. That's awesome. We may have time for one more job. Or we could go do the, uh, the barn over there. Also an option. Let's see what we can grab right here. Really quickly. There is a secret stash I want to show you guys in this POI. Scrap that. don't need shorts. Now, the secret stash is actually behind this fridge. You can see a little hole right there, see? See that? Duffel bag and an electronics box. Not bad. Alright, let's get home. Alright, let's craft ourselves a wrench and we'll get all the mechanical parts that we need. May as well keep smelting that shit down. Alright. Everything is deposited. Now, uh... We'll take that grilled meat. And let's go to the trader. Selling what we can. Buying what we can. Mechanical parts, forged iron, and duct tape. If you are here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. That ain't what I want to pay for. <laughs> All right. Here's your pay for a job well done. Let's see here. She doesn't have any cobblestone to sell, but we can craft it pretty easy. Uh, magazine bundle. I'll go with the Molotovs. Best thing for Horde Knight. Closest job: abandoned shady shed farms. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not to um. 
get radiated. All right, now, I'm going to buy the aloe cream. It's dirt cheap, and we can convert it to bandages. Other than that, uh, beaker would be nice to have, but uh, if we live long enough to craft a chem station, then we're probably going to find one. <laughs> Let's see here. Gonna want to buy those. All right, let's do it. Done. Okay. I hope you come back and see me sometime. We don't have any money for whatever's in here. But we also don't need whatever's in there. Not right now. We will want to buy that sugar butts after one more job so that we can crack into some ATMs. We already have the jailbreakers, so we'll do that after. And our wrench is almost done. Robotic shotgun shells, wiring, and traps. Let's drink this now. All right. Strength four. And then pack mule four. Hey, you know what? Boom. That's why I bought the aloe cream. Alright, 53 cobblestone. Not bad. Let's check in this culvert. I didn't know that this was called a culvert until I watched Neebs Gaming. And uh, trust me, half of the people in Neebs Gaming didn't know this was a culvert either. It was hilarious, actually. Alright. All right, we'll start the job after oh, after that guy's dealt with. Done. There is a bear. He's not aware of us yet. But what we're going to do is seal the exit to this place. Oh my god. Is he aware of us now? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I see him. He's through that window. Alright, let's seal this exit. Well, at the very least, I don't think a bear can get through that. He might be able to. But, better than nothing. Boom. Alright, mechanical parts. We can wrench that shit now. Take that. Pull that bear. Alright, let's go. Sometimes there's a zombie right here. Not this time. Very nice. I'll eat that right now. But we better wrap up here quick and get home.
What the fuck? Well, that was awesome. Okay, let's go. We're almost done this job. And that'll be two done today. And we'll have a bicycle tonight. Ooh, yeah. We're selling that. Or wearing it under the right circumstances. Now, uh, fuck that way. I'm gonna try to get the jump on these zombies here. Yeah, look at that. Ha! <laughs> Let's finish her off. Ah, oh, look at that. The bleed did it for us. Okay. There's our supplies. The rated blade mod. A double barrel shotgun. Fuck yes, the game has just changed, my friends. Aim from the hip with greater accuracy. Alright. Put that in the better knife. Scrap the pipes. Alright, level 4 fire axe. We can sell our level 3. Now, uh, pack mule. Very little possibility of encumbrance at this point. We're gonna drop the paper and the rotten meat. As well as the cloth. No, the bones. We'll have an easier time finding bones. I mean, there's vultures and zombie dogs on Horde Night. Ooh. Two cooking mags. Doesn't look like there's anything else up here, but that's still really cool. Nice little attic that you can loot. Alright, now we're going to try to get some mechanical parts on the way home, and I'd imagine the best way to do that is just wrenching cars and shit, you know? We got time. It's early yet. Early enough. We'll just fucking get rid of that hunting knife and put the torch down here. Yeah, because I spent a little bit of time in the last series getting used to pressing one to get it out. Alright. Perfect source of... Mechanical parts right here. And there's a dilapidated gas station over there that we can also harvest for mechanical parts. Alright. We'll scrap the forged iron that we get from these. Look at that. 15 mechanical parts already. And although our inventory is full, we are barely encumbered at all. And therein lies the value of Pack Mule. When you're playing on difficult settings, it's, uh, it's different. Sure, it's useless in vanilla. A lot of shit's useless in vanilla. Fucking combat proficiency is useless in vanilla. But when you're playing on settings like this, mobility is king. And anything that can unlock greater mobility faster is never wasted points. Shit. Okay, regular biker. Oh, shit. Alright, we can find... Oh, four leather? Yeah, fuck that. And, uh, we'll just eat this right now since we're hurt. I think we have time before he smacks us. Boom. Alright. Yeah, I don't want to rush over there. We'll just wait till the morning to turn in our job. There's our ten hatches. Although, that's only the start of our horde base this time. 
I'm gonna need to get creative. <laughs> That stuff will smelt down gradually. Thirty minutes of fuel in there. And let's craft some cobblestone. I'd say 700 should do for now. Oh, and workbench. We'll start crafting that right away. Iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, nails, wood. And we'll need a little bit more duct tape than that. Boom. We're crafting a workbench. And then the cobblestone rocks will be right behind it. Now, what do we need for the bicycle after the fact, huh? Uh, we need two wheels, which we haven't found any wheels or any acid. So maybe I jumped the gun on the whole crafting our own thing. That sucks. Alright, well, either way, we have the workbench, and if we don't find any wheels or acid by the time we've done seven jobs, then we'll just take a bicycle as the trader quest reward. It's all the same. Alright, let's go cut down some trees. I suppose we should search cars. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find acid or wheels, right? If we did, that would be wonderful. Might not be too late to get our bicycle tonight. Wow, level six iron knuckles and an engine. glad that zombies aren't alerted by the sounds of other zombies, you know what I mean? Anyway, that lumberjack, I kind of want to search that car. We'll just try to get him away from it a little bit. Three, four, five. A lot of cars over there. I think that's the wedding POI where we died two series ago. Maybe we'll check it out. See if we don't get a wheel in those cars out front. You never know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We took a hit. But we're still alright. Okay. I'd like to get Pack Mule rank 5. So we're gonna go strength. And our next point is gonna fully unlock our inventory. Now, otherwise, uh, let's eat this for the health back. And we have grilled meat at home. We can fill our bellies and restore our health. Huh. 
<laughs> Alright, there's a wrench. You know what? We'll just scrap that. Uh, whichever one is worse. This one's worse. Scrap it. If nothing else, it's 90 scrap. Nothing worth regretting. When you've lived a life like mine, you slowly start to realize there's nothing worth regretting. It really depends on how you look at it. Even our worst tragedies can induce our best transformations. It just takes a lot of faith to see that. Alright, let's search these cars. Fingers crossed for a couple of wheels, huh? Couple of acid? Nice! Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go back. I'm gonna search these cars and then we're gonna go back. Now that we got that acid, we can fucking... We can build our bicycle. Seek and ye shall find. Ask and ye shall receive, motherfucker. Another axe. Which one is better? This one I'm using is actually worse. So we're gonna swap. Alright. Ugh, we keep hitting the fucking bag. It's fucking freezing right now. Look at that. We've got over 2,000 wood now. Alright, there's our wheels. Alright, chassis. Handlebars. And we just need one mechanical parts and two wheels. And uh, we could cut down more trees for the night, especially since we now have a getaway bicycle. Alright, we're about to turn in our fourth job, so we have to complete three more in order to get the reward. But, uh, I honestly think tomorrow I might get started on the horde base. I need to think about that. We got a lot of wood. Uh, can I make a hammer? I don't think so. I don't think we found any books for repair tools. No, we have not. That's the downside of not putting a point into advanced engineering. Another hundred iron. It's gonna take eight minutes, and we have ten minutes worth of fuel in there. There it is, my friends. There's our bike. Her stock did change today. Wow, we've got the best prices in the wasteland. Uh, nine millimeter. Can always craft more cobblestone. Anyway, we got a buried supplies that we could do, but we'll be more likely to like suffer the cold if we do that. Now that we have a bike. I need someone who's willing to. Yeah. I have a good feeling about you. Passing gas seven. We haven't done that yet. Not in this playthrough. Now, what do you got? I'll take those. The bandages. Got any cobblestone? We got cement. Uh, which we can't afford. Wow, we spent exactly how much money we had. <laughs> okay. We'll come back later for the rest. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. In fact, I think I know what we're doing today. We're not going to do that job. We're going to clear out the barn prep our horde base, and do an ATM run across town. Crack open all the ones that we found with a single lock-picking candy. So let's get prepared for that. Alright, we can let the rest in now, I think. That wasn't so bad. Shitload of experience. 
All right. I'll drink that now. 20 iron arrows. All right. We're about to get Pack Mule rank 5. If you're, uh, feeling under the weather, I've got just what the doctor ordered. Thanks for the business. Stay safe out there. All right. Sadly, no sugar butts, but that doesn't change the plan. We gotta do what we gotta do. But we'll spend what money we have. Boom. Gotta level up. A scope. And a wood splitter mod. It doesn't have a puffer coat. I hope you come back right. and see me sometime. Pack mule. Let's get it. Mobility is no longer any sort of issue. It is of no object to us. We can always just do what we gotta do. Alright. So. Our next destination is the wall safe right there. And the ATM down there. We'll get the wall safe first, then cross the street. Let's do this. Ooh, 1400? Holy fuck, that's a good roll. Alright. Oh, right. I have to grab the contents of our stash, but we have plenty of time. Alright. I'll remove those icons on the map shortly. Now, where is it? It's in here. Club parts that we can sell. Alright, wall safe. Uh, ATM across the street. Let's go grab that. There's zombies very close to me. I'm hoping I won't be seen, though. Fourteen hundred bucks? Dude, what's up with these rolls? I didn't read that book where you get more cash from ATM, so this is staggering. Alright. Now let's crack into these two ATMs right here. God, if I keep getting, like, over a thousand bucks in cash from these ATM, I'm gonna want to wait till I get a sugar butts, honestly. Like, at a certain point, you're just throwing away perfectly good cash, so I might hold out till I can buy a sugar butts from somewhere. And just hang on to the cash till then. What the fuck, dude? Alright, 630. So clearly it, it's just really fucking good luck, which is certainly not something I'm going to turn my nose up at. Alright, let's go back home. We got one more ATM over there that we got to crack into. And then we'll clear out the barn and try to start thinking about our horde base. The only requisite for the horde base is... Well, we have to be able to endure the Horde Knight. If we can't beat the Horde and kill every zombie, whatever, right? As long as we survive, that's the critical thing. 500 bucks. Okay. God, those loot rolls, man. That was fucking nuts. I'm so happy. Alright, let's go deposit. Alright. Let's head out. no sight quite like foresight, huh? It looks like I can be warm enough in here. Let's 
So, my friends, welcome to our horde base. We are here. What the fuck is that? Oh, big mama. Alright. Okay. Level 4 wrench. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Happy boy. Any zombies in here? Doesn't look like it. Getting a hefty amount of nitrates in here for when we start our own farm, provided we live that long. Alright. Let's continue. Yeah, I'm thinking we can... We can work some pretty good magic if we try to make a base here. A horde base. But we'll need to upgrade the shit out of this place, though. You a feral. Nah, regular Zed. Alright, toast. Ooh, very nice. A bandolier mod makes me very happy. All right. Fist magazine. Yeah, I think we can do something with this. I'm gonna have to do some research on how this base design actually works. Because honestly, I'm not, I'm not that sure. Uh, I know that you put a door in the middle. Structural support is probably a very important thing. I don't know how to do this, but... We can get started. We'll do a little bit today. And a little bit every other day. Airdrop. The only reason we're knocking out that ladder is because we couldn't upgrade it to cobblestone. I want a nice, durable ladder that the zombies won't destroy. Now, hang on. Let me check and make sure. Alright, yeah. We could do something like a, like a beginner hallway right here. Just to melee them for a little bit, you know? And then... As we progress through the areas, we can do different shit to try and stave off our destruction. And I'm also going to prepare another place to serve as a... Like, if all else fails, we will hole up there and just wait for the horde to pass by. You know what I mean? Just wait for the night to end. I'm not ashamed of that, right? I'll do everything in my power to defeat it, and if it's not enough, then I'll do everything in my power to survive it. Copy shape, fill that in.
I'm gonna double block this so that even if they end up breaking the ceiling, they won't end up... Well, you know where I'm going with this. They won't end up jumping on top of each other and getting over the hallway and then flanking me from behind. Yeah, with this horde base, there is no consideration too small. I'm gonna cover all my bases. our minor 69er, but I think I'm gonna go with Boomstick for now. Make our shotgun game a little stronger, you know? Alright. It's 4pm, so I'm gonna leave this uh, for now. We're gonna craft some iron hatches, and we're gonna come back here. We're gonna continue construction, right? Do whatever we have to. Question is, are, what are those being supported by? All right, looks like they are being supported by the blocks underneath them, which is good, because those are the ones I've been upgrading. Now, as much as I'd love to stay here and keep working on this, for now, we're just gonna go, but, before we do, we're going to upgrade this pillar, just so I don't forget later. It's additional support from Bedrock, you know? Alright, let's get out of here. We will go grab that airdrop. Do the job. If we have time, right? It looks like they're both in the same direction, so why the hell wouldn't we? Now, our home is that way. We're going to quickly deposit whatever we don't need to bring. <laughs> I can't wait till we find a fucking... I want a retracting stock and a shotgun choke mod. You put two of those in a shotgun and you're hip-firing people's heads off all the time. Okay, we're good to go. We have water. We have food. We are topped up on hydration as well. We have our torch on our belt for lighting. Uh, we're gonna craft more forged iron here. Never a bad time to keep doing it. Kind of overdid it with the wood. Alright, that'll do. Let's get out of here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I'd actually like to craft our hatches. All we have to do is get those hatches built, and then we can actually spend our nights building up the horde base. Because we'll have the hallway to fall back on if zombies hear us, right? So let's try to get those hatches crafted. Oh, and, uh, we can remove these. All right. Ooh. Vehicle books. We're at 10 out of 20 for our mini bike. Wiring books. Okay. Airdrop first. Job second. That rabbit's asking for it, eh? If he doesn't move by the time this is done, we're getting him. You know what? He can live. It's alright. I missed my shot. Alright, it landed on top of a POI, but we can reach that pretty easily. Nice! Inching ever closer toward the cement mixer. Oh, we got vultures coming in hot. Alright. Okay. Now, let's see what we got. Farm bundle. Ooh. Alright. 18 workstation books, electrical traps, and sharp sticks. Worth it. 
We really don't have long to get this job done, so let's haul ass. We won't be able to loot as thoroughly as we'd like. Alright. What is that? Oh. Oh, yeah. gonna save that point only because I'm not really sure what I want to spend it on oh my god up oh. uh, we can't fight that we 100% cannot fight that bear so I don't trust any of this shit I really don't like this that bear seeing us just added a level of fear to this that I did not want Oh my god. Alright, dire wolf. Holy shit. Alright. Uh, this is very dangerous. Very dangerous. I don't like it. Anyway, we'll hop up here. Reload. that either. Alright, he's toast. Alright, that's one threat down. Let's watch out for that fucking bear if he hits me. That's a lot of fucking grilled meat. got rid of at least this threat. Now, the bear's still there. But he might not see us. Scrap that. Start the job. We did have to kill a lot of time with that, but you know what? It's moving forward now. Level 6. Yeah, I'll hang on to those. They sell well. Well enough. Oh, fuck. Alright. Remove the backlog. In fact, uh, before we do the hatches, we need to repair this. Now we do the hatches. And let's sneak kill whatever we can in this room while also eating our grilled meat. I don't see a dog. over there. Alright, job is done. 
Now, let's quickly grab whatever loot we can and head home. We've gotten a lot done today. Drop the paper. bag. Ooh. Alright. I can craft breaching slugs now. Never gonna be useful. <laughs> Ever. Uh, okay. Now make level 4 quality stone tools. Alright, let's get out of here. Where's our bike? I'm gonna get living off the land. So I can start harvesting crops. Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each consecutive shot. Mm. Two ATMs here, but I have to mark them both. All right, that's both. And there's another savage country there for when we decide to try and hunt better clothes. And a bookstore, look at that. Oh, man, how the hell did he miss me twice in a row? That is crazy. Read those. Honey from trees. All right. Now, right, we're going to mark this bookstore. Books. There we go. I don't think I have time to turn in the job, but... Nah, they're just about to close. I'll go straight home and we'll turn it in first thing in the morning. For the night, I'm going to work on the horde base. Alright, we're home. And as safe as we need to be. Well, not really sure where to put, uh, farm plots, but I have an idea. Alright. Seeds, blocks, and car parts. Ooh. Oh, very nice. So what, is that like the purified water recipe? Yeah, I can now craft mineral water. So that's what we'll use our golden rod and chrysanthemums on. Now that we have living off the land, we're gonna keep an eye out for a Judy Witch POI. All right. Damn it! What are they holding on to? Oh, that's it right there. It's these wooden blocks. Alright. It sucks that I upgraded that already. <laughs> I gotta get rid of it now. Replace it with a plate. Copy rotation, copy shape. Alright, well, for now... We'll just put a couple of wood hatches in this hallway. Something we can easily break and get out of the way. Something to hold off the Zeds that try to come up. There. 
Well, she pathed up here just fine. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna add one more, just in case. Anyway, they'll come up when they're ready. Whenever you have to kill one of these spider monkeys behind a hatch, just do this. Alright, wait for him to swing. Stab. Wait for him to swing. Stab. Easy as pie. That was a feral, too. Alright. 60 block damage instead of 20 with the stone axe? Fuck yeah. Alright. So I think right here is where I'll want there to be the first walkway. All right. It is structurally sound so far. Now let's upgrade these. I did the most important shit, at the very least. that done. I'm gonna have to do some research. Building this part is what I'm gonna really need the research for. I'm not familiar with it. Glock 9's very good at it. Probably even gonna refer to some of his videos to see what I can do. Yeah, we are getting very low on cobblestone, so we gotta go dig somewhere. Now, I know there's stone all around our home. What I'm wondering is, is there any clay behind that stone, right? It's worth finding out. Well, this is snow right here, but if we go out far enough, we might hit something else. Still just getting snow. And we need to go one more block higher. We're gonna be crouching while we mine, but we can't stand up unless this is three blocks high. Just in case we ever have to run back here to the hatches. In fact, I'm not done here yet. Hang on. I'm gonna make two iron hatches for right here. And I also need to make an iron door. Gonna need it, uh, and I'll have to look into the proper placement of it. Now, the double door more zombies can fit on. I don't know if Glock uses, like, which he uses or how, but we're just gonna craft both and decide later. Oh, all right. Uh, well, at the very least, we have hit stone. Uh, which means we can actually... We'll do an upward ramp. All right, we have to restart those, but after we've repaired our axe. Yeah, we'll do an upward ramp until we hit dirt or something. All right, guys, I'm going to continue working on this later. So essentially, we just have this mine shaft. I'm going to turn left or right to harvest stone, and I'm going to create a ramp leading up all the way to dirt. So, hang on.
All right, so we're gonna... All right, yeah, I figured that out. I know what I'm doing. All right, guys, I'm gonna call this episode here. We've made good progress towards our horde base, and even better progress toward... Well, you know what? We're still alive, and that's what matters. And we're gonna try to see this through as far as we can. Don't forget to check the pinned comment down below for the word of the day and a health cookie. Uh, don't forget to check my description for a Patreon link, but also a Discord server that my wife and I have that you can become a member of the community if you want. Yeah. And uh, other than that, there's not much else to say. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've provided. That's a very important thing. I'm glad I didn't forget to say. Our series are exploding lately, and I just, you know, I hope that trend continues. I hope that you continue riding the hype train for the console release of Seven Days to Die, and I hope that you're vicariously enjoying my series and looking forward to your own adventure. It's coming. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do some studying on the Horde base, and tomorrow is a new day, and we will continue preparing for the fight of our lives. And don't forget, next episode's going to be longer, because we're going to do Day 5, 6, and 7, followed by the Blood Moon. And with any luck, we'll survive that Blood Moon. Anyway, peace out, rock on, and take care. I'll see you all in the next one.